So a few months ago, I made a video called Susan Wojcicki is a dumb bitch, and I got a bunch of comments of people saying that they didn't understand what the 10 out of 10 part meant, which I didn't even think of when I made the video because if you talk to other YouTubers, they obviously all know what you're referring to, but I forgot that the general viewing audience has no clue what that means, so I want to talk about that today. On the YouTube Studio app, there is a ranking system. It takes your last 10 videos and ranks them according to how many views they got in an allotted amount of time. If it's gotten the least views during that time frame out of the 9 before, it, then it's a 10 out of 10. If it has the most views, it's a 1 out of 10. 1 out of 10 means you made a good video that people want to watch. 10 out of 10 basically means that you should go fuck yourself and delete your channel. This feature was added on February 3rd, 2020 in the 20.04 version update of the YouTube Studio app. When you open the app, it's the first thing you see in front of your face. There is no way to avoid it or put it in a different tab. It is right there for you to see in all its glory the second you open the application. This feature is one of the most toxic things that YouTube has ever done. Let me explain something to everyone. YouTube does not care about its creators. YouTube cares about the advertisers. And trust me, I'm not trying to start another adpocalypse. That's the last thing I want. Advertisers are very important for this platform, but creators are also important because if there was no content, then there wouldn't be anything to run ads on, and YouTube seems to be tipping their scales away from the creators because they don't care about them. If YouTube cared about the creators, then they would allow you to put the ranking statistics somewhere else. If YouTube cared about the creators, then they would have kept dislike counts. If YouTube cared about the creators, then they wouldn't silence people for speaking out about pedophilia on this platform. And if YouTube cared about its creators, then Susan wouldn't be currently trying to restrict people's right to speech. But YouTube doesn't care about the creators, which is why they make the decisions that they make. Their decisions have led to burnout and people leaving the platform. And YouTube might say, oh, but when we talk to creators, they say this is what they want. But my question is who? Who the fuck are you talking to? Who? Fucking guava juice? Because you sure as hell aren't talking to any creators that aren't inside of a fucking bubble. My main issue right now is the video ranking system. Not because I believe it as a whole is evil. It can honestly provide some valuable information for creators if they go looking for it. But it's just another step YouTube has taken to make creators feel like they're spinning a fucking slot machine every time they upload a piece of content that is paying for their bills. Does the video ranking system lead to creators coming up with better ideas to get more views? Maybe, but does the video ranking system cause unnecessary stress that leads to the burnout of many creators? Yes. Analytics are great. They show cool things like how well your thumbnail is performing and how many non-subscribers have watched your video, but this is not creating analytics that are helping people to make better videos. This is just a way to make small creators feel like shit and unmotivated. So the ultimate plan of YouTube being run by Jimmy Fallon and the mainstream media comes to fruition. The thing I'm hoping to get out of this video is for YouTube to hopefully listen and just make the smallest fucking change of not putting the ranking system at the forefront of their app so I don't have a mental breakdown every time I want to read some comments or check how much money I made this month or even just bring back dislikes. If we can accomplish either either of those somehow, then this video is a win. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a great fucking day.